without the number plate holder. This looks extremely good. They kind of give me S-Class vibes as soon as I push this once and hold it. And it's literally between the steering wheel and display. You see that? This, the gray one, or the Patagonia red one, just leave. Hello guys, I am back, welcoming you all with this. Today I will be presenting you the all new 2022 model SL63 AMG again guys. And as you can see, it's a special one. Here we have it, full finished in sun yellow. For the first time also for me seeing it. And in today's video, I will be doing a full walk around showing you all the exterior highlights. Afterwards, we will be jumping inside and then finish it all off with a resume. So let's get it on and start talking about this this car the icon is finally back here we have the brand new mercedes amg sl 63 and as you guys know there will be no non-amg versions there will be only the 63 and 55 presented now and i think in the future we will be also seeing uh sl 53 maybe or 43 and uh, 63 e so guys stay tuned for that what do we have here here we have the sl 63 version 585 horsepower 800 newton meter of torque guys as you can clearly see and beautiful US spec here as you see by the light on the side and there are a few more parts talking about the exterior spec on this sun yellow and we have the night package on this plus some nice looking wheels so let's get it on and start with a walk around looking at the front of this guys look at it the new SL63 headlight. And as you can see here, we have the digital headlight unit here. We have this single LED light and two LED torches. As we have the US spec, you have this orange light on the side. This is okay in my opinion, but this on the side is just so ugly looking. There's also one thing that's specific for the US specs. You don't have a number plate holder in the front. You can get this additionally, but from factory, you don't have it. With all the German cars, you have it. Now let's focus on the front and the so-called Panamericana front grille. Here we have it full finished in a black and darkish chrome finish. This is an option, guys. And you can compare it with the AMG badge here on the side. This is way darker than the AMG badge itself. This is an option coming straight straight from the factory. We have the Mercedes-Benz star here on the front and the nice lines on the bonnet, making it super sporty in my eyes. The front bumper and the intakes, 63 specific ones. As we know, these also came with the new GT4 door facelift. We have these vertical lines, three ones, which make this car look so aggressive. Now look at the front guys, without the number plate holder. This looks extremely good, guys. I love the way this looks. How do you like it? All in all, guys, let's start talking about the side. And as you can see, we are here in Bremen at the Mercedes-Benz Kunden Center right now. Looking at the side of this, this car is actually very compact, but the front bonnet is very large in comparison with the rear. So guys, let's focus on the wheels. Here we have the AMG multi-spoke wheels. These are one of the best wheel options you can get for the SL. 21 inches here, Mercedes-Benz Star center lock. We have the AMG brake calipers finished in yellow, which looks very cool in addition with the sun yellow exterior paint. On the side, as we have the night package, this is full finished in black. And also the V8 Biturbo 4 Matic Plus badge finished in this darkish chrome, which looks amazing. Here on the side, as we have no door handlers, we have these seamless ones. You swipe, they pop out. Or if you unlock this car, they also pop out. We have the exact same thing also with the S-Class, EQS, etc. In the rear, we have again 21 inches, guys. These look extremely good. And something I forgot to mention in my last video, with the SL63 and the SL itself, we also have a rear axle steering, which turns up to 2.5 degrees, which is not a lot, but it really helps for very sporty and agile driving. Now guys, let's start talking about the rear. Guys, now it's time to talk about the rear and here we have it, the new SL63 rear guys look at it starting to talk about the rear we have the updated sl tail lights these look very sharp and they kind of give me s-class vibes these are very sharp ending and we also have the led pins which we also have 
with the new S-Class. All in all, we also have the badges, SL63, the Mercedes-Benz badge and the AMG badge finished in this dark chromish finish. Plus the exhaust tips. These are also finished in black as we have the night package on this car, which look very nice, AMG engraved on them. Also, since we have an US spec here, we have these number plate holders and the side bumpers which look okay in my eyes. In addition to that, we also have the rear wing, which you can put out with the steering wheel button, which I will be showing you later on. We also have the soft top here, which is finished in a fabric finish. There's also a glass, which you can heat up. To finish it off, guys, this looks very interesting when closing and opening the roof, which I need to show you later on. But all in all, guys, how do you like the rear of the new SL63? Guys, less talking. Let's finish it off with the interior. Before we step inside, as always, the new key. And here we have it, the new AMG specific key. We have the AMG initials also in the back. Again, as we have the US spec, we have this red thing. I don't know for what. All in all, this looks very cool. But yeah, unlocking the SL63. As soon as we do that, the door handles pop out. These are also illuminated in the night. This is, yeah, very cool to have. We don't have this with the S-Class, only with the Maybach. Let's just open up the door and start the interior view. It's now time to talk about the interior, guys. And as you can see, yeah, it's a very base spec. It's full black leather finish. I can't wait to see a way more brighter finish, like red interiors or beige, neva gray interiors. Would love to see that in the future. Before we step inside, we have the door panel here. Full black leather finish with a nice gray stitching. We have the Bomista speaker covers. And in addition to that, the carbon fiber trim, which is essential for such a sporty, SL interior. We also have that here in the center console. AMG entrance board. We have the AMG floor mat and it's now time to step inside guys. Let's have a seat. So we are now inside the new SL63 guys. Look at this. I've also set the ambient lighting to yellow as we have a yellow exterior paint but all in all guys flat bottom AMG steering wheel here. This is the latest one with the steering wheel buttons which I love. Let's switch these two race because as we have the 63 version here we can also set this car into race and now look at this we have the button here for the wing in the back as soon as i push this once and hold it there we go it's very simple and easy to use let me just yeah it's very cool you can play around here with but all in all guys we have the driver's display in front of us, which is very cool because for the S-Class, for instance, we have just a plain display in front of us. But with this one, the surroundings of it, it's just covered, which makes it look very cool. You also have it covered here on the sides for the soft top. When you have sun shining in the interior, you can just still clearly see the display. The air vents are exactly the same as we have with the EQS. They look very cool, like a turbine look. The start-stop button, for instance, it's hidden, guys. Honestly, when you sit as a co-driver on the side, you can't even spot it. You can only spot it as a driver. And it's literally between the steering wheel and display. You see that? I wish they've placed it over here. There would be a way better option. We also have the latest display inside the SL still. The GT design language here in the interior. Center console finished in carbon fiber as we have the carbon fiber package. Starting to talk about the seats. These are the AMG sports seats. AMG emblem here. Full black finish with the gray stitching. And also in the back. I mean, you don't have a lot of space here. Uh, I think uh, I, I won't fit there, guys. Honestly, I'm not going to test it. But I will try it because in the future we will be driving the SL and I will be taking a seat in the back for sure, guys. Just all for you. all, guys, it's now time to have a nice sound check for you, okay? We already have the car set into... I will, I will keep it in Sport Plus. The exhaust already on, which you can see here. And now, guys, starting up this beast, okay? Listen, start, stop button. It's over here. sound guys there's also us spec and therefore i think you don't have an opf on these cars all in all guys how do you like this sound
So that's it basically for today's video guys. How do you like the new 2022 model SL63 AMG? I drove all the way from Düsseldorf to Bremen just to film this beautiful car in sun yellow for you for the first time ever. Which color do you prefer? This, the gray one or the Patagonia red one? Just leave it all in the comment section below. In my opinion, this color suits this car very well. I just love the wheels on this and the entire look. Can't wait to drive it. The driving will be up in January, so stay tuned for that. Looking forward to see you all again and wish you all a great day. I will be back.